one of my AMS units here, it blinks red. I can do whatever I want, it just blinks red. I took everything apart, I cleaned everything, I wiggled the back of the cables, but nothing, nothing, nothing. It just doesn't work. All red, blinking, blinking, blinking. In certain cases, when your AMS really doesn't work anymore and it does red blinking on all of the slots, and you already watched my other video about how to fix the AMS and it's not working whatsoever, then there might be a problem with the board. So today we're gonna see what board it could be and how we can change it. I opened the ticket with a Bamboo Lab and Bamboo Lab sent me a connection board for the AMS. It comes in that little box here and And this is how it looks like. And this little board here is what we have to replace because it's a connection between the printer and the AMS itself. First, we need to open the back of the printer so we can access all the boards. Next, we have to take this and this screw off. There's two more. So now on the bottom of the board, there are two screws and we're going to take those two screws out. That second screw on this side is so hard to reach. Just try and get a tool like this. This is the iFixit kit. I'm going to put the link into the description so you can find it easy but definitely you gotta have a tool like this for this. One of these really helps with the back screw. So this is really cool. So now we can take the board out. So this is the old board. And we're gonna put the new board in. When you're getting the replacement board from Bamboo Labs, there is a little cover. You can just pull it off, it's only a cover. So you're gonna use that to connect the one connector that is on here. So we're gonna take this off first and put it on here afterwards. It is also very important that the back screw is really screwed on because when you put it in, you're gonna kind of like put pressure on it and if that one is not aligned that's not a good thing. So you really want to use um, either one of those necks that goes around or just try to get it in somehow. It's, it's not going to be easy but you know it's what you got to do. And a little tip since you already have the back plate off you might as well do this um, screw and lube it because that's usually hard to access. And now it's all free, ready to go. So we can, we, can, we can just put some lube on there, clean it first and then put some lube on there. And all that is left to do is put the back plate on and finish it up. So we're all done. Now let's see if it works. White lights, I love it. So now it's your turn. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It really helps the channel.